Welcome back! We have made it into one of the offices on the uh, fourth floor, despite running into uh, an aggressive bot. And it seems there's someone here. Hopefully it's Damien Campanal. Resist contact. And hopefully he'll be able to help us. Hmm. If I had a screen that big, I wouldn't sit that close to it, probably. Seems to be working on something. Can't tell what it is, though. This must be Damien Kavanagh's office. And that's the only person I see in here. So, Damien? And he has takeaway from Sushiya, which was the sushi company in... Casablanca. Must be a franchise. Hello. Can I help you? Hmm. Let's see if he is, uh, Damien? I'm looking for Damien Kavanagh. Speaking. Well, what do you need? I have clearance to work today. I don't work here. I'm a friend of Reza Tamiz. Jericho. Jericho? Jesus. How did you... Hold on a second. Let me just... What did you just do? I made sure that this remains a private conversation. How did you get in here? This place is a bloody fortress. Yeah. I'm getting good at finding my way into impenetrable fortresses. I'm Zoe. Damien Cav... You already know who I am, which I find sort of disturbing. I told Jericho that he couldn't talk to anyone about this. Did Jericho send you? I haven't been able to contact him. Jericho's gone. Something's happened to him. But he left me enough info to locate you. He's disappeared. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. W what about Rio? She went to see Jericho five days ago. Is she... Are you close? We work together. Why? What's happened? I, I think she's... dead. Are you serious? Oh, Jesus. I'm in way over my head in this one. I shouldn't have asked her to go. What happened to her? I don't know. I found her in Jericho's apartment. She was hooked up to this white plastic thing, and there were wires going into her head. The Dreamer. What? That's what it's called. A Dreamer. It's not supposed to kill you. I know. They hooked me up to one. Who hooked you up to a Dreamer? Two girls. Twins. I don't know who they work for, but I'm guessing they're connected to your company. I've seen them around. They work for Miss Gilmore, the president. I think maybe they got to Rio as well. And they're after Jericho... after Reza. I was hoping he'd made it here. I haven't heard from him since Thursday. Sorry. Rio rang me when she got into Casablanca and told me she'd met with Jericho. That must have been right before... I found her in Jericho's apartment, and minutes later the Eye raided the place. I was arrested, but they let me go the next morning. Is there anyone who isn't involved in this? This what? I decided to track Reza down in order to help him. He's my best friend. But I don't know what this is or what I've gotten myself involved in. Now Reza's vanished, and you're the only lead I have left. Can you please just tell me what this is? You don't know anything? Only what I've picked up on the way here. Reza never shares his stories with me. I know that Watty Corp is working on something, and that they've been testing it out on people in Newport. You called it the Dreamer. I know that the Dreamer is probably connected to the Static somehow, and that is most likely what Reza was investigating in the first place. And I also know that Watty Corp is keen to keep all of this under wraps. Keen enough to kill people. Apart from that, I have no idea who you are, what you've told Reza, what Rio was doing in his apartment, and what this dreamer thing is all about. So you're going to have to fill me in, and I'm not leaving here until you do. I've come too far to go back now. If I can't help Reza, at least I want to know why. I want the truth. Right. Well, okay. I understand you want the truth. I wish I could tell you. I'm putting myself at great risk here, Zoe. I don't know who you are. 
For all I know, you could be working for the corporation. And then again, if you do, I'm already done for anyway, so... You're right about all of it. We, uh... What a corpse working on something big. The Dreamer. It's a device that'll let you dream anything you've got a mind to dream. Lucid dreams. You're awake and in control. Wow. You just imagine the possibilities. Every other entertainment medium would simply disappear overnight. Why watch a movie when you can dream it? It was destined to be the biggest thing in history, and it was supposed to go on the market in a few months from now. However... About three months ago, something happened. There was a contamination in the network that connects each Dreamer console with the central processor, Dreamcore. I used to work on the network code, the parts that link the Dreamers with Dreamnet. When the problem appeared, my bosses asked me to head up the group charged with identifying the problem on this end, to weed out the bugs. What we discovered was that Dreamnet was beginning to slip out of our control. There was a contamination. But it wasn't a bug. It wasn't internal. We figured someone had hacked into the network and introduced a virus or worm. Something sneaky and adaptable. It didn't take me long to realize there was a link between the static and our problems. The static wasn't the cause. It was the effect. Whatever had infiltrated Dreamnet was, for lack of a better word, leaking out onto the wire, causing glitches and system crashes. When I told my supervisors, I was instructed to not ask any questions and to just keep working on the problem. So I did what they told me, but at the same time, I started digging deeper on my own. And that's when I met Rio. She was working with the biological systems that run our code and operates Dreamnet, the central processor known as Dreamcore. She'd been digging too, and like me, she'd reached an impasse. So we started working together to identify and nail down the contamination. We figured that sooner or later the static would be traced back to Watercorp, and then we'd be out of a job. And besides, it was getting serious. People were dying. So we kept digging, and then one day, about a week ago, we discovered something that changed everything. We discovered the truth behind Project Altura, behind Dreamnet, behind the Dreamers. Wadi isn't making these things to entertain people. They're making them to spy on and to control people. Of course. Dreamnet was designed to record people's dreams. And Dreamcore was designed to analyze them. Wadi Corp can extract private and personal information about anyone who's ever been connected to a dreamer. And that's just the beginning. By feeding data back through the dreamer, they can plant thoughts, instructions, even hypnotic suggestions in people's heads. Dreamnet is the biggest brainwashing experiment of all time, disguised as mindless entertainment. And now someone's hacking into it. What? Uh, oh, right. Exactly. Someone's trying to take control of the network, the most dangerous weapon of all time. Rio and I, we realized we had to tell someone, but we also knew that the corporation would do anything to protect their secret. If we went to the media, we'd be dead. We had to find someone with the guts to expose Wadi, while protecting our identities. The hand that bites. Who better to expose this conspiracy than Jericho and his notorious feed? We knew he wouldn't be afraid to go up against Watercorp. So we got in touch, and then Rio went over to Casablanca to meet him. She brought a, a prototype dreamer with her to prove we weren't crazy. We knew the risk, but what else could we do? And now... I, I can't believe Rio's dead. And Jericho... I'm afraid that if nothing's done, this'll keep escalating. The static will get worse, Dreamnet will be hijacked, or, or the corporation will launch the Dreamer. Anywhere you turn it, it's bad. Real bad. This is... And you're sure about this, Damien? It sounds like... like science fiction. The people behind it seem to believe that it's possible. And the Dreamer works. I've tried it many times. It's incredible. Like nothing you've ever experienced. But to know that they have free access to your innermost thoughts. I won't use it again, that's for sure. Not with everything I know now. 